All right. Awesome. So congratulations on one, having a New York Times bestselling novel. Thank and you. two, then taking that story and making um, your own TV series. That's amazing. It. Thank you very much. Was that your goal all along? Um, it was my goal to just always be a, someone who made her living writing and mm -hmm. In as much as that was my goal, I have succeeded. But no, when I was writing the book, I did not think for a second that it would be one of the books that were lucky. It didn't feel plot heavy enough to be optioned. Uh -huh. It felt too internal. I guess I was wrong. I'm glad you were. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I love your background. Oh, thanks. That's yeah. Albuquerque. That's our balloon fiesta every year. Oh, gosh. Yeah. That was just uh, about three weeks, four weeks ago. It's beautiful. Yeah. Thanks. So your book examines marriage dynamics, but also you tricked us into like liking Toby more uh -oh. than you don't know. give away spoilers. Yeah. Well, that's a book. Yeah. Um, but <clears throat> tell us what why did you write it that way? Is it was there some other message we should learn? I know there is, but what is the, the message? The message, the, the 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 reason it was that way was because you know I was a celebrity. I was writing celebrity profiles. Mm -hmm. I was writing a lot about divorced men. Oh. A lot of divorced men were talking about their ex wives, and I kept wondering what those women would say if they were here. Mm -hmm. And similarly, when I spoke to divorced women, they would they would speak about their ex husbands sometimes off the record and. And I would wonder what their husbands would say if they were here. And I think that that is like, you know, as a journalist, that was my, my hope was to always tell a true story. And my understanding was that when you are writing about people, you never really are. You're telling a version of something. So I guess my hope is that people take away the idea that we're all human. Our sides of the story are completely valid and and we all have a story that's worth telling. So what did you learn about yourself in this process? Oh my gosh. About <laughs> it, during the adaptation process or during, I learned, Either. Yeah. I learned about endurance and I learned about how kind people could be in helping you do something that you were inexperienced at. But about myself, I guess I learned, I learned that, I learned once again that other people's rules don't ever apply to you in terms of the thing you're trying to make. And I think that no matter how many times I learn that lesson, it never sticks. Like for yeah. some reason, I have to learn it on every single thing that, you know, you have a people telling you that not, not anyone around me, but there's this sort of wisdom in Hollywood that you, you don't do a story with voiceover or mm -hmm. you don't do long scenes. And Fleischman has both of those things and mm -hmm. it's the, and I think it's, it was the right move and I hope I'm right. We'll, we'll see what the market says, but, but I feel that again and again, I have to constantly remember um, what William Goldman said, which is that nobody knows anything, even the most <laughs> people who are great, like they don't know anything. And luckily I had partners who were able to protect me and a network who were able to protect me from what I thought I knew. That's what, I guess that's what I learned. Great. And the last question, what are you most excited about having the audience take away from your series? Um, the, uh, I am, I would love for the audience to, to, to fall so into the story's grip that they sort of don't see that lesson about different versions of a story and that they can see it in, in, in their lives. But mostly I hope that I can provide some um, entertainment during this time of burning world. <laughs> yes. You know, there's war, there's terrible right. stuff going on, you know, fires, literal. Right. Um, that's what well, I, I believe you, but accomplish that. I thank think you. that's that so everyone nice of you. will love this series. And thank I you so much. So.
Thank you, Stephanie. I appreciate it. You too. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye.